Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my pharmacology series. So today the topic of my discussion is about the second class of the drugs acting on the autonomic nervous system that is the anti-adrenergic drugs. As we all know that the drugs acting on the autonomic nervous system are classified into two broad categories. First is the adrenergic drugs and the next is the anti-adrenergic drugs. So viewers, so the first class of the drugs that is the adrenergic drugs we have already discussed in my previous video uh, where I have discussed the mnemonic about the adrenaline which is the prototype drug of the adrenergic class. So today the topic of my discussion is the about the anti-adrenergic drugs and as to how we can easily remember about the clinical uses and the contraindications where the anti-adrenergic drugs should not be used. So just a quick review as to what are the anti-adrenergic drugs. So anti-adrenergic drugs, these are those drugs which antagonize the receptor action of adrenaline and related drugs. That is, they are the competitive antagonists at the alpha and beta adrenergic receptors and differ in important ways from the adrenergic neuron blocking agents which act by interfering with the release of the adrenergic transmitter on nerve trans nerve stimulation. So the mnemonic or the short trick. So the uh, today I'll be discussing about the first uh, the prototype drug of the anti-adrenergic class. So the anti-adrenergic drugs, the prototype drug here is the propanolol. So propanolol is the prototype drug of the anti-adrenergic class. So when discussing about the clinical uses of it, so the mnemonic or the short trick, what I have made for easily remembering the clinical uses of the prototype drug, that is propanolol, is just by remembering if we remember the word thappar. Thappar, it is a Hindi word which actually means a slap on the face. So, just by looking at the initials of the letters, that the thappar word, that is T-H-A-P-P-A-D, we can easily recollect as to what are the clinical uses of the drug prototype drug of the anti-adrenergic class that is propanolol. So viewers, the first T of the thappar will correspond to it causes it, the clinical uses can be in the treatment of thyrotoxicosis and tremors. So the first T relates to thyrotoxicosis and tremors. The H of the the H of the Thapar corresponds to the, it can be the clinical uses of propanolol can be, it's by very widely used in the treatment of hypertension and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So viewers, the H relates to the, it can be the clinical uses of the prototype drug propanolol can be used in the treatment of hypertension and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The A of the Thapar stands for it can be used in the treatment it can be used in the treatment of angina and acute myocardial infarction acute myocardial infarction next the p the first p of the thapar corresponds to prophylaxis of migraine so propanolol which is the prototype drug of the anti-adrenergic class corresponds to the first P relates to the, it can be used in the treatment or the prophylaxis of migraine. The second P of the thapar, the second P of the thapar corresponds to the pheocytochroma along with the alpha blockers. The A of the thapar corresponds to the, relates to the anxiety and the arrhythmias 
and the D of the thapar relates to the dissecting aortic aneurysm and digitalis toxicity so just by looking at the initials of the F, just by looking at the alphabets which are making the word thapar we can easily relate the clinical uses of the prototype drug of the anti adrenergic class so students this was my uh, short trick or the mnemonic as to how we can very easily remember the clinical uses of propanolol so just looking at a shorter review or a quick look as to uh, about the clinical uses we just uh, will be looking at short we will be quickly looking at the propanolol is basically contraindicated which in what conditions so in propanolol including other beta blockers are contraindicated in so the mnemonic or the short trick what i have made over here is don't prescribe him propanolol where every initial alphabet that is of don't d the p prescribe of p the h of him and t of propanolol will correspond to one of the contraindications of propanolol so the contraindications of propanolol can be better remembered if we just look at the initials of the statement don't prescribe him propanolol so where every initial alphabet of don't prescribe him propanolol will correspond to one of the contraindications where propanolol is not to be used so viewers so the don't pro prescribe him propanolol so the first d of the don't will correspond to diabetes mellitus so students just make this point very clear in your mind that propanolol is contraindicated in diabetic patients the first d of the don't don't prescribe him propanolol corresponds to diabetes mellitus so students in diabetes mellitus propanolol is contraindicated next condition the p of the prescribe corresponds to the pulmonary diseases example asthma and copd that is the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease so this is the next condition where propanolol is contraindicated the h of the pres don't prescribe him that is the h of the him corresponds to heart block and bradycardia so in either in partial heart block or in complete heart block or in bradycardia the propanolol is to be contraindicated and the last don't and the last p that is don't prescribe him propanolol the first initial of the propanolol will correspond to where propanolol is contraindicated relates to the prince metals and uh, angina so in patients of prince metals angina propanolol is contraindicated and in peripheral vascular disease so viewers this was my mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily recollect as to how we can very easily remember the contraindications of propanolol just by looking at the initials of don't prescribe him propanolol all right so propanolol and other including other beta blockers are contraindicated in such conditions of diabetes d for diabetes mellitus p corresponding to the the p corresponds to the p corresponds to the pulmonary diseases the h corresponds to the in cases of heart block and bradycardia and the p in the cases of prince metals angina and peripheral vascular disease so these are the conditions where propanolol is contraindicated so viewers this was my mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the drugs what are used in the the prototype drug propanolol its uses clinical uses and adverse effects viewers if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos thank you for watching